most mothers who have a child with Down syndrome learn about the diagnosis after the child is born, and that's a postnatal diagnosis. And that diagnosis is made by a neonatologist or a pediatrician who does a physical exam and sees some characteristics in the baby that looks like the baby has Down syndrome. And that can be confirmed by getting a blood test called a karyotype, where scientists are able, through a microscope, to count the number of chromosomes and confirm that the baby has Down syndrome. But there are a growing number of mothers who learn prenatally, that's before the child is born, that the baby has Down syndrome. And there are many options and many tests available. I like to divide them into the appetizer category and the main entree category. In the appetizer category, you have the prenatal screens. These are tests that a mother could get that will give her the chances or the odds that her fetus has Down syndrome. So she might get a result that says, ma'am, you have a 1 in 270, or you have a 1 in 1,422 chance that your fetus has Down syndrome. Then based on that appetizer result, the mother could decide if she wants a definitive answer prenatally, and two options exist. She could get an amniocentesis or a chorionic villus sampling. And both of these tests will give a 100% definitive result on whether or not the fetus has Down syndrome. But many mothers are sometimes reluctant to choose one of these tests because they both carry up to about a 1% risk of causing a spontaneous termination or a miscarriage. So when a mother goes to her obstetrician now, there is a whole menu of options, and I recommend that they work closely with their obstetrician to understand what the tests are and what results they will get before they decide to take the test.